Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and tonight I'm going to be doing some testing with the Barda semi apo filter and the Barda UVIR cut filter on my EvoStar achromatic refractor behind me. So the idea of using a UVIR cut filter is to get rid of that pink colour cast that you can get on images and to sharpen up the images. And the idea of a Barda semi apo is to turn a semi apo or a long achromat into more of an apo by getting rid of that chromatic aberration colour fringing. So I'm going to do a test without any filters whatsoever, recording with my ZWO ASI 462 camera as it drifts across the moon and uh, AVI capture and then I'm going to attach the UV IR cut filter, let it do the same drift across and then repeat the same a third time but the final time I'll be stacking both the Barda semi apo filter and the UV IR cut filter and we'll compare all three AVI files, all three movie files as we see the moon footage, footage as it drifts across and hopefully we can draw some kind of conclusions from this but hopefully the footage kind of speaks for itself. That's the idea of doing this anyway. Uh, the conditions, as you can see, are utterly atrocious, but you know, that being said, they are gonna be equal for each three examples. So it's a fair game test as far as I'm concerned, but don't take it as a testament of what the, what the telescope is capable of, because you can literally see the cloud behind me and we're pretty much imaging through light cloud at the moon. So the sharpness, could be better but hopefully you'll get a rough idea from this anyway let's crack on and we'll get some results in a moment to show you
Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up there. I've taken some shots. Hopefully that teaches us all something about whether to use a filter or not when you're imaging and which filter to use out of these two or both combined. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. A special thank you to my channel members, The Four Grapples, Dan the Man and Ziggy Friends. And until next time, please tell those clouds to sod off. Like those sods there.